two two. You have three two five upon thousand. You will write point three two five. So this is the thousandth thing. Okay, and the same all things will be applied to the thousandth thing also. If you know the hundredth, you can obviously make it thousandth, and you can obviously make it ten thousandth, one lakh, any. Now the thing is how to compare the decimal numbers, which is the larger one, which is the smaller one. Comparison of decimals is again a very easy process to compare two decimal numbers. The one is the la uh, we can say it's a large process. Uh, first convert them into the fractions, then compare. But we will not go to that. We will follow a very easy process. The very easy process is. How do you compare this 42 and 32, which is the larger one? Obviously, you say that uh, we can see it is 4 and it is 3. 4 is the higher number, so obviously 42 will be the greater one than 32. The same thing will be applied to the decimals also. How it will be? When you say 42.2 and 41.2. Then you will not see the number after the decimal. Obviously, you know the 42 is larger number, so you will put the mark like this. But when it will go like this, 42.2 and 42.3. So first check the number before the decimal. These are equal, 42 and 42. We cannot compare. With the help of these things, now go after the decimal. After the decimal, the first number here is two, here is three. So the first number is larger with this number, so this will be the greater. This is very easy process. Forty-two point two and forty-two point three, so this will be a larger number. If you have three point two five. Three point two eight. You see, before the decimal, three and three, both are equal. Go after the decimal. If you go after the decimal, at the tenth place there is two, and there is two, again equal. We go to the hundredth place, there is five, and there is eight. So this is going beyond. This is 25. These are 25 parts of 100 parts, and these are 28 parts of the 100 parts. 28 parts out of the 100, and 25 parts out of the 100. Which is the greater one? Obviously, 28. This is the larger one. Again, very easy thing. If you see 3.093 and 3.095. Before the decimal, it is three three. At the tenth place, it is zero zero equal. At the hundredth place, it is nine nine equal. At the thousandth place, it is three and it is five. It means ninety three parts out of the thousand equal parts. Ninety five parts out of the thousand equal parts. So which is the greater one? Obviously ninety five parts. So put. A greater sign here. So this is a very simple process to compare two decimal numbers. Go to the before the decimal number. If it is equal, see the first number after the decimal, and then just go beyond the decimals. If you take the equal, it means uh, if you find the first number is larger, then it will be. If you find those are equal, then go to the hundredth place. If you find those are also equal, go to the thousandth place. If you find those are also equal, go more beyond. So that's a very simple process to compare the decimals. Now we will go to the important part.
The most important part it is why we are studying the decimal things, why we are going to the basics of the decimals, because we need to use them. And where we will use them? We will use the decimals in, as I said uh, in the earlier thing, that 